like we start this video with where are the bolts holding down the intake manifold. As you can see, there are five on top and one sneaky fella underneath. Now you do not need to take off this exterior plastic shell in order to retrieve your intake manifold as the bolts are fairly easy to get to. We start off by removing this hex bolt on top in order to free up this plastic hard line. Then we disconnect this junction very easily by pushing up on the bottom of the white plastic tab then a little bit of pressure frees her up. You will have to disconnect the fuel line as well. First you remove this metal clamp, then you will need a special tool in order to separate your fuel lines push lock junction. A push lock separation tool like this will do the trick. Here is a quick tip. Make sure you have a rag handy as there may be fuel and or pressure still in the line. Next we separate electrical connectors on the throttle body. Push the blue tab over to the right, then press and pull to disconnect. Don't forget his buddy as we do not want them to be lonely. Trace back the wire loom on top of the intake manifold and you will notice two rib fir tree rivets attaching your loom. As I stated earlier, you do not need to take this plastic shield off in order to remove your intake manifold. On the back of your engine, there is a vacuum line. You can rest assured as it is easily disconnected underneath the car close to the engine mount on the passenger side. With the factory torque spec of 12 newton meters, a quick flick of the wrist will loosen up these six 10 millimeter bolts. Now here is your pro tip. You do not need to try and separate these 10 milli bolts from the intake manifold as they will stay attached to their big brother. When you loosen them all the way up, you will hear a distinct sound, letting you know they are ready to go. As seen here, it was a bit of a struggle to get the intake manifold off as we missed one electrical connection. Make sure everything is disconnected prior to removing your intake manifold. With everything out of the way, you can peel your manifold off with ease. The gunk that is built up in here is pretty amazing. Look at this. Look at As you can tell by my tone in that last clip, I was very surprised to find so much built up gunk. Make sure and clean your intake manifold thoroughly before you put it back on. I show you how to replace your intake manifold gasket properly later in this series. Now this LTG came to me with an issue. There was oil in the cylinders and as you can see there was oil surrounding the intake manifold gasket. If it's on the outside, you can bet it's on the inside. Thank you for watching and don't forget to disconnect your battery when working on your vehicle.